What's up everybody? This is Andres Salazar. You're watching The Art of Comics. I am a comic book writer, artist, creator. I also have finished a feature documentary, directed it, and edited it. I'm now working on a second feature documentary called uh, Leaving Your Tribe. So I have some experience and knowledge about filmmaking, documentaries, as well as making graphic novels and comics. So when I heard about the unimaginative titled Stan Lee documentary on Disney Plus this weekend, I said, you know what, let's check this out because I love documentaries. I'm a huge nerd for them. Clearly, I make them. And I love comics. So this is my wheelhouse. This is like something I would love to do. This would be like a dream to like do a documentary about things I love like comics. These, all these opinions are my own. I'm not associated with Disney, Warner Brothers, nobody. It's just me. So little caveats there. Third thing to notice is uh, I have a Patreon. Go check out my Patreon. Check that out. Some of the stuff is for free. Other things are behind the $1 paywall to be a Patreon member. You get to see my movie, film work, as well as my comics, graphic novels, things like that. So check out the Patreon. Now that we have all that out of the way, let's talk about this film. I hinted at the title, my thoughts on this, Stan Lee. You couldn't think of a better freaking name for this film than just Stan Lee? I mean, you could have called it The Promoter. Something that like, oh, what's The Promoter, The Life of Stan Lee, or The, the Deal Maker, or something. The fact that this movie is just called Stan Lee says it all. As the kids would say, this is mid. Mid. It's just not engaging. There is a lot of interest in historical documentary stuff. Uh, we have, um, you know, Howard Chaikin is, is doing a graphic novel series called hey kids comics something like that we have i am stan which is tom scully's work his graphic novel about stan lee that's coming out like in two months all this kind of stuff so people are into comics clearly because of the movies people are into this stuff people want this and then you come out with a documentary that has no conflict no interest. It is just boggling that you have access to all this information and yet it's just freaking boring. The tiny bit of conflict where Stan is having a conversation on the phone with Jack Kirby years later, kind of you get a little bit of something there, but not enough. I mean, it's just this informative PBS style. Even PBS has like conflict and interest and stuff. You know, this is just the only positive thing I could say about this. And I'm being very objective. I hate to just trash on it, but is I did like the visuals with the miniatures. I mean, that cost, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 just to build the miniatures and to shoot all that. That was cool. I really love the visuals of that. But as far as the story, the storytelling, the interest, it felt extremely bland. Look, man, I'm not saying you gotta do a hit piece on him, but maybe interview some other people. You did it all through his words. You didn't interview anybody else. You didn't kind of like show much. You didn't like say, okay, he's a writer. He did the Marvel style, he did these things. You know, you talked a little bit about Ditko, you talked a little bit about Kirby, but then there's all these other things he did, you know what I mean? These other, like, enterprises he created, these other, like, companies he tried to do and didn't work, and, you know, Kamikaze used his brand, all these things. It just didn't show any of that, and it felt like there just wasn't anything pushing it forward other than dates. It was like, the only thing moving this movie forward is the timeline. It's like... Um, yeah, st extremely disappointed with it. And here's the other thing. Nothing was new. None of this is new information. This is all stuff we've heard before. 
Um, and so it's like, okay, you didn't give us anything new. We knew about him and Jack, him and Ditko. We knew how he wrote, worked. We knew where he came from. We knew his name was Stanley. Um, so nothing new, boring, no conflict, no pushing things forward. Uh, again, I did like some of the visuals, but uh, yeah, man, I was, I was disappointed. It is what it is. What do you think? Am I right or am I wrong? Tell me, let me know. Check out this video, subscribe to the channel. I have other channels about music, things like that. And again, the Patreon is where all the cool people go. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.